that's a lot to ask for somebody to be like that everything for you for like the next 60 years because i swear i'm gonna live to like I i'm 100 or 90 um and i'm 30 something right now so baby i'm do you i really think i'm gonna be the only person that you ever deal with for the next 60 years like you're never ever gonna slip up ever in life i just feel like that's really unrealistic <laughs> In this video today, we have a woman explaining why she believes that cheating is not a deal breaker for her and why she thinks loyalty is unrealistic. Uh, those are her words. That's how she feels. You know, I have my initial thoughts about it, but we're gonna hear what she got to say. As always, man, I appreciate y'all stopping in. If y'all feel, please leave a like, leave a sub. It really helps the channel out, helps us grow, helps us more than you can know. But as always, you already know what it is, man. We're gonna kick it up, get right into this one. Cheating is not a deal breaker for me. I think the more I mature and the older I get, I'm realizing like, asking somebody to be your person for the rest of your life when you start a relationship because i be looking for marriage so i'm looking for the rest of my life when i start a relationship with somebody because if you're not then you shouldn't be with that person but yeah um that's a lot to ask for somebody to be like that everything for you for like the next 60 years because i swear i'm gonna live to like I i'm 100 or 90 um and i'm 30 something right now so baby i'm do you I really think I'm going to be the only person that you ever deal with for the next 60 years? Like you're never, ever going to slip up ever in life. I just feel like that's really unrealistic, like really unrealistic and a lot to ask. Like, I feel like you're going to fuck up, but just fuck up like respectfully and tell me. Yeah, man, that's how she feels about it, man. And honestly, all I can say is if, if this is a widespread, uh, you know, sentiment when it comes to marriage nowadays, I think we're lost. Uh, honestly, I don't think this is a widespread sentiment. I, I, I don't think a lot of people or most people feel this way, but I do think there's this idea growing within younger people that um, that marriage isn't something sustainable and that, that marriage isn't realistic, especially when we have so many examples of marriages not working out, so many reasons not to do it, so many people coming up with new reasons not to do it. I do think this is something that could be more widespread in the future now i've heard compelling reasons for why cheating could uh, isn't a deal breaker for some people i've heard some people explain to me why they feel that way and and, and you know now loyalty being unrealistic and cheating being a deal breaker are two different things but i can entertain the idea of someone saying that cheating isn't a deal breaker for them um what i can't get behind is the loyalty being unrealistic thing and um in saying that being committed to someone for you know 40 50 60 years it, it, it isn't realistic you know fortunately and unfortunately i think we're products of our environment and you know a, a lot of us you know don't really have the best examples of love in our lives the best examples of commitment and loyalty in our lives so it makes sense that people feel this way and it makes sense that people wouldn't know how to stick through a relationship when they've never seen it done when there's no one in their lives that can explain to them how are the things that they're going to need to be able to do and the lessons they're going to have to learn to be able to make it through these 40 50 60 year long relationships you know a lot of people just don't have those skill sets and even less people have what it takes to learn those skills on the fly you know while they're in a relationship but to say it's unrealistic or to express the idea that it can't be done i no, I, I can't get behind that one especially when i've seen it done so many times and you know in my life alone and there, there are a lot and just as you know there are a lot of examples of people not doing it and there are a lot of examples of people sticking out these you know these long relationships these long marriages and, and making it work and, and remaining loyal to one person you know that's why i think when you meet someone it's always a good idea to to you know let them explain to you what they think the marriage is all about let them explain to you what they think love is all about let them explain these things to you and they'll reveal to you what type of person they are and they, you know and another thing that factors into it too uh you could say even just this just this fast you know this fast society that we're living in a dwindling attention span people's dopamine receptors are just like are just more fried than ever you know uh constantly receiving new information constantly receiving new stimulation so you could even say that that, that society is someone to to blame but i can firmly say that there are people out here you know like me who do believe that you know marriages can be built to last and that you can you can you can stick out these committed relationships these committed marriages with people you know there are people who, who look for that there are people built for it but that's pretty much all i got to say on that one man pretty different take today you know this video had a pretty different take y'all go ahead like sub up comment let me know what y'all think down below really helps the channel out helps us grow man always love seeing what y'all have to say about these things man and if y'all made it this far i definitely just appreciate you y'all are the foundation that really that, that, that this channel is really built upon if you made it this far y'all really watching the video can't say how much i really appreciate that you know y'all sticking it through but with that man i'm gonna catch y'all next time peace Cheating is not a deal breaker for me. I think the more I mature and the older I get, I'm realizing like 
asking somebody to be your person for the rest of your life when you start a relationship because i'll be looking for marriage so i'm looking for the rest of my life when i start a relationship with somebody because if you're not then you shouldn't be with that person but yeah um that's a lot to ask for somebody to be like that everything for you for like the next 60 years because i swear i'm gonna live to like I i'm 100 or 90 um and i'm 30 something right now so baby i'm do you, I really think I'm going to be the only person that you ever deal with for the next 60 years? Like you're never, ever going to slip up ever in life. I just feel like that's really unrealistic, like really unrealistic and a lot to ask. Like, I feel like you're going to fuck up, but just fuck up like respectfully.